I'm sure a lot of you have been in this situation as well. You have a bunch of photos from a stunning location, the conditions were incredible, the light was epic, your camera settings were on point and everything is nice and sharp, but for some reason you've only taken vertical photos and you really need this shot in landscape or at least you need a little bit more space on the sides to use it for example as a website banner or whatever the reason might be. So in this video I'm going to show you a super easy way to do this in Photoshop and actually there's two ways so make sure to stick around till the end. Okay so I have this image from a beautiful sunset in New Zealand and I would really like to have a bit more space on the sides so that I can use this photo as a horizontal landscape image. First thing I need to do is turn this background into a layer because if you open an image in Photoshop it will say background here with the little lock icon behind it. So to do that we just right click it and select layer from background. You can then name the layer here but we don't really need to do that right now so just click OK. But actually an even quicker way to do that is to just click the lock icon and the background will be turned into a layer. Next we need to actually create some space on both sides of the image so that I can transform it into a landscape shot. So I'm going to select the crop tool and then select ratio and enter a 5 by 4 ratio. And I'm going to enlarge that so that I'm creating space on both sides of the original image and then hit enter. Okay so now all we have to do is stretch the image towards the left and the right and we'll be done. So I'm going to hit command or control T to activate the free transform tool and then while holding shift I'm going to stretch towards the right and then stretch towards the left. Hmm, it doesn't look quite right, does it? The C stack is really stretched out and weird and basically my nice looking image is looking a little bit wacky. So let's take a step back because we want to expand this image but we don't want to stretch the C stack. So we want to actually protect the C stack from getting stretched. And luckily enough, Photoshop has a function to do just that. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. And as a matter of fact, the sponsor is just me because I don't have any actual sponsors. I just wanted to let you know that I have launched my one-to-one -one coaching program and you can now book a private online editing session with me through my website. So if you want to learn more about editing but specifically customized to your needs, your photography style, your skill level and your pace of learning, then go check out the coaching program. I'll leave a link in the description. So to protect the C stack from getting stretched we need to first select it and it's really easy to do that with the object selection tool. So with that tool activated I'm just going to draw a rectangle over the C stack and I'm also going to include the reflection. And then when I let go Photoshop will automatically make a selection of the C stack and the reflection. So now that we have selected what we want to protect from getting stretched, we need to somehow save the selection. So I'm going to go into the channels tab here and hit this icon down here. And you can see a alpha 1 channel has been created. So if I now deselect my selection by hitting command or control D, you can tell the squiggly lines or the marching ants have disappeared, but our alpha 1 channel is still there, so our selection is saved. Okay, let's go back to the layers tab and then go to edit and select content aware scale. And you can see that's activated a transform function, but on the top here we can see it says protect. And here we can tell Photoshop that we wanted to protect our selection, this alpha one channel. So now I can stretch the photo towards the right and towards the left, and you can tell that the C stack is not getting stretched. So Photoshop is basically calculating new pixels and using some AI magic to fill those gaps on the left and the right of the original image. But wait, before you go, let me show you an even quicker way to do this and it doesn't always work so it's good to know this technique as well but have a look at this. Okay I'm gonna go back to the original image and then I'm going to select the crop tool here. Again I have a 5 by 4 ratio selected and then up here I'm going to tick the box where it says content aware and then I'm going to stretch the box so creating more space on the left and the right of the original image and then hit enter. And give Photoshop a little bit of time. So Photoshop has automatically detected what the subject is, protected it from getting stretched and then added pixels to the left and the right. And all of this in one simple action. How cool is that, right? All right, I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. And if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.